Welcome to Base Camp, Western North Carolina. Yeah. This little instructional video is on rainwater catchment. This is a goat barn we built. If you go to my website and look, yeah. you'll see the construction pictures of it. For this customer, there's five goat kidding stalls right here in the front with a hay yeah. stall and storage on the other end. And then down below, we'll take and show it to you. There's a loafing area and then a horse stall. But what this video about is this thing right here on the edge is a rainwater catchment. Yeah. That is a piece of seamless gutter going down the front of it. Even though that little piece of roof on the top there is only six foot wide, the catchment of the rainwater is really just to keep yeah. it from being a muddy mess up there on the top end of the barn. And as you can tell, the pipe goes down and then it runs in and collects with the one on the lower section of the rain gutter. And we'll take you around there and show you what that looks like. Okay, trying to show this to you. You see where that pipe goes down? Right there at the edge of the roof is the lower section of rain gutter. This other pipe runs all the way over to the tank. This is the loafing barn area. As you saw in the, in the first clip, dog drinking out of that water bowl. There's five water bowls in the, upstairs, up, in the upstairs stalls that all come off of rainwater catchment. The one on that front corner. And then there's one down here by the water tank for the outside pen and a gravity flow water inside the horse stall. We'll try to get to the other side of this barn and see if I can't show you a little bit more about the tank setup. Okay, we're on the far end of the barn and if I can get it up there, you see the downspout, the pipe come in. Two pipes go into this tank. There's a 275 gallon tote. This, this roof is just under a thousand square foot. So basically a half inch of rain will fill that tote up. And here in Western North Carolina, that has not been the problem for quite a while. We have plenty of rain. This thing overflows a good bit. There's an overflow in the top end of the tank, comes down and goes out. I'll take you over and show you the water hookup. Okay, this is the lower end of it. And as you see, we got coming out of the bottom of the 275 gallon pipe. This is black plastic landscaping called Funny Pipe. Comes out of the valve. First line goes down, has a valve, and that actually goes into the horse stall. And he has gravity feed water in his water trough. The other one coming down on the other side goes down. And that is a gravity feed water bucket for all the animals outside. And then also hooked to this thing, as you can see, this the regular water hydrant. This is regular well water pressure, that if that tank's not full, it can back feed, uh, fill the tank up using pressurized water from the well if you have to. But all this thing here, this tank, everything else, includes all the water going to all five of the upper stalls, that upper water cup, and these down here. So basically on a good average year, starting from spring to fall, there's no watering or anything involved. Uh, any questions or comments, please leave them. My website's at the bottom about services, putting this on your thing, or if you just need information on exactly how everything works out and the sources to get everything from, give me a call. Go ahead, check my email, and let me know. Thanks for watching.